Today marks two years since that deadly shooting at Chardon High School. And there will be some events, special events today to honor the victims and to help the community to continue to heal. Danny Parmeter, Demetrius Hewlin, and Russell King Jr. lost their lives when TJ Lane opened fire in the school's cafeteria. During a special student assembly, motivational speaker Bobby Petricelli will talk about the power of decisions. Students and staff will then take part in service projects throughout the community. And then tonight, a public vigil will be held at the high school's front lawn. And Kristen Burns, students across the district uh, have spent the last month performing random cat acts of kindness. Tell us about that. Yes, Macy, they have. It is a way for students uh, to heal, to try and bring something good out of such a tragic event. You know, you don't have to live in Chardon or know someone in Chardon to take place. And I want to share this story with you. I was in Chardon a year ago to the day of that deadly shooting at the high school. I interviewed students from Virginia Tech who showed up to help students with the grieving process. But a big part of the healing that they taught students was paying it forward, helping others. They even held workshops on the topic actively caring. So this morning we went around asking people how they have paid it forward. Take a listen. Well, I'm always helping the elderly. I love helping them. I also take care of my elderly mom. I go out, I can help shovel snow on our street for um, some of the elderly people that can't get out and do it. And, you know, Macy, we experienced our own uh, act of kindness today. We're outside a local business. They gave us some hot coffee. It is just so bitterly cold outside. So that was absolutely amazing. So nice of them to do that. And uh, we are asking people what they have done to pay it forward. Have they experienced any random acts of kindness on our WOOS Facebook page? You can also check out my own page, Kristen Byrne, WEWS. We want to hear those stories. Kristen, thanks so much for sharing a part of the story that can uplift us as we are giving that community some space today as they continue their healing. A News Channel 5 is going to bring you coverage, though, throughout the day. Today, during Live on 5 and 6, the lessons first responders have learned since that tragedy two years ago.